Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I I, I got a I got a book haul for y'all. I went shopping last weekend and I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. I bought eight books. Let me show y'all my book stack. I'm so excited. This is my first time doing a book. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Thumbnail. So last weekend I went book shopping. It really wasn't planned. We were just in the area and I was asking my husband, I was like, do you mind if we go to the bookstore? And he was like, yeah. So we went to the Goodwill bookstore and you guys, it was actually his lucky day because I had a lick. Like everything that I found at the Goodwill was on my TBR. It was either on my TBR or it was a book that I've already read that I wanted to own for my library. Because as you guys know, I'm building my library and this is she so far. This is she. But with the books that I just purchased, she is going to be full and I get to move all of my books over to a bookshelf really, really soon. So let's get into this book haul. So six, okay, so it's eight books. Six of these books are from the Goodwill bookstore. So we're gonna go through those first because two of these books, one is from Walmart, one is from Amazon and they're brand new, obviously. And then I got some other little book things that I want to show you guys that I have. So the first book, you guys, so we went to the Goodwill on Saturday and I had just added this book to my Amazon wish list on Friday and it's The Great Gatsby. I remember reading this book in high school, but I have no clue what this book was about. And I was like, you know, in my reading, I would love to go back and read some stuff that I just totally forgot about that I read in high school, like English requirement books, but like this. Um, I was watching this guy on booktube. Yes, a guy. I was watching this guy on booktube and he had reminded me that I said I wanted to add The Great Gatsby to my reading list. So I added it after I watched his video. And then when I went to the bookstore, they had actually they had three copies of this. They had three. Um, the guy was like, they get this book frequently. So um, the book is only 184 pages. So I really can see myself reading it in like one or two days, depending on how my day is going. But I think I spent like $2.99 for this book. So that was a win. The next one I got is Dear Martin. I read this as an ebook and it's two. It's like a little, I don't know if it's called a series when it's just two, but it's two books. It's one called Dear Martin and it's one called Dear Justice. If you watch my um, book to newbie tag, then you know I mentioned these books and that I actually want to have these books in my library so that my children can read them later. So I found this book and I actually didn't peel the sticker off. It was only $3.49. So I was excited about that. And they are in, they are in fair condition to be secondhand. Um, I don't mind secondhand books. I can save money that way. So the next book I got is actually by James Patterson. It is called Cross. And when I first went to the Goodwill bookstore, they had an entire section with nothing but his books. And I'm like, this author must be like the bomb.com or something. I had no clue who this author was, still don't. But I was like, I'm gonna read me some James Patterson. So in the book groups that I'm in on Facebook, I've seen maybe one or two people mentioning him. So I did some research to kind of see where should I start? Um, because I knew I was gonna go back to the bookstore and I knew when I went back, I was gonna pick up one of his books, y'all. The whole section was gone. It wasn't as many, but I did find this one. 
and I spent $4.99. It is a hardback, so the hardbacks are a little bit more expensive, but I'm excited to read this. It's, just, it's still in good condition. I'm, I'm so excited to read that. Um, another book that I have is On the Come Up. I listened to this as an audiobook, and I think I got it free on Audible, and I listened to it. I also have her other book, um, The Hate You Give, and this is by Angie Thomas. I really, really love this book. This is also um, an author that I really, really love, and I feel like this is a good book for teenagers to young adults to read. Um, I really, really, really love the audio and I would definitely read this again. So I was like, yay, there I have the other one. I was excited about that. I don't remember how much I paid for this one. It's a hardback, so I probably paid $4.99 for that one. So I was excited to see that. So this next book is by Terry McMillan. And it is the second part to Waiting to Excel, Get Into Happy. So the thing about this book is me and my friends, we are supposed to be having a girls night where we are watching Waiting to Excel, the movie, and just watching it as an adult. Because, you know, we've all probably watched it when we were like teenagers or kids when our mama was watching it. And we didn't fully understand what was going on. So we want to go back and watch the movie and see how different it hits as 30 something year olds. So with that, I was like, I also want to read the books. I was watching somebody else on booktube. I'm not good with names. And she was listening to Wait Until Excel as the audiobook. And she said the book was just so much better. Duh, it's always like that. The book is always better than the movie. She was like, it was a lot funnier and it was so much better. So I instantly added this and waited to excel to my Amazon wish list and I found this one. So I'm so excited about that. Um, again, this is a hard copy, so I'm pretty sure I spent like $3.99 or $4.99. So I'm excited to read that one. So another one, the last book that I got from the Goodwill is you made a fool of death with your beauty i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the author's name but i got this book on audible and i'm currently listening to this book right now and with me if you guys watch one of my previous videos i mentioned that i'm not i'm trying to get out of the audiobook choco this year i want to read more physical books because of course i want to build my library so because I started liking the book already via audiobook, I was like, let's just go ahead and pick this up and finish it as a physical book because it's good. It's good. And I, I'm actually going to do a book review on this one. Um, I'm trying to see which other ones. I'm probably going to do a book review on Cross by James Patterson, but I know for sure. I'm doing a book review on this one. I've already been taking my notes for this one. So I was excited to see this. It's a hardback. It was $4.99. So those are all the books that I got from the Goodwill Bookstore. We just got the Goodwill Bookstore. You guys can look at one of my previous videos where I went and showed you guys the inside of the bookstore. I love it. Um, and I can't wait to continue to go back frequently and just see what else I can find. So the next two books that I found are from the same author. Um, one is The Teacher by Frida McFadden. So I'm so excited about this. This is her newest release. Um, I've been seeing everybody talk about the book so much. Like, that's all people been talking about this last week, the teacher. So I was like, okay, if when I go run my errands this weekend, if I run into the book, I'm just going to buy it because it's, it's Frida. And I have not read any of her books yet. So I was like, let me just go ahead and grab this one. It was just two left tucked in Walmart. I went to Walmart. I was just browsing the book section because every time I go to a store with a book section, I browse the book section. And I moved the book and seen two of these, grabbed the best looking one and checked out. So I can't wait to read this, but I'm not gonna read this until I finish 
the housemaid series so this book right here i actually ordered from amazon it just came in today and you know what i've been watching a lot of booktubers complain about the quality of the books that they get from amazon and i have not experienced receiving poor quality books and maybe it's because of the area that i live in so they probably ship from a different distribution center or whatever but i usually get fair copies of books when i order from amazon and i pray now that i speak this up that i continue to get fair copies of books but yeah so um i have a book club it's currently virtual but i'm trying to branch out and get people to actually meet in person so this is going to be our book for the month of march and so i'm not going to read the teacher until i complete this series i know the third book of the housemate series is dropping this summer and i want to complete this series first before i hop into any of her other books because i don't want to get them confused so yeah that's that now the other things that i want to show you guys is just some little book goodies that i had got so my best friend bought me this um reading light now my daughter has already gifted me a reading light it's the one that you clamp onto the book and then the light just hover over your book while you're reading but my best friend bought me one of the ones that you actually lay on the page and this is it right here and I used it last night for the first time. And like, you know, you, you cut the light on and this is what it looks like. And it takes like three AAA batteries. And you guys, so far, I like it. Like, it covers the entire page, which is the light that my daughter gave me. It clamps. Like, it's like a clip. You probably know what I'm talking about. You clip it here and then the light, it's like a little lamp that hovers over the page. It works okay but i think this actually being over the whole page while you're reading it's just so much better in the dark so my husband was in it we were in the dark yesterday in the living room he was watching a movie i wanted to be in his air <laughs> and i wanted to read my book so i used it so this was the perfect gift bessie if you're watching this thank you girl and so um Another thing she got me was these, um, I think she said they're bookmarks. And she said the girls all over TikTok been raving about these. I haven't seen them. I don't use TikTok. So I, maybe anything on TikTok shop, I wouldn't know nothing about because I don't use TikTok. But these are it. I love sunflowers. So they are sunflowers. She is going to send me um some type of picture on how to use these because i have no clue she said it's a bookmark um i think she said you put it you put it on your finger hold the book in the middle i don't know but we're gonna find out because they're super cute not to use and i love using everything that somebody buys me so i'm excited about that the last thing i want to show you guys is this it is a book booth and it's so funny because when I was running errands on Saturday, I brought one of my books with me and I had to put it down at the bottom of my purse. And I'm like, I wish I had some type of bag I can put my books in where they don't get damaged. Not necessarily a book cover, but like just some type of bag that I could just slide my book in and put it like in my tote purse or something like that so that I won't damage it. So then as soon as I said that, because I didn't know what it was called, as soon as I said that, Kennedy Ryan was advertising her personalized, well, not personalized, but I guess it is personalized for her new book, This Can Be Us, um, book boo that comes with the pre-order of the book. And that's when I learned it was called the book boo. So this is the one I actually got from Amazon. And it says, all I need is this book and that other book and those books over there. And I thought it was just so cute, you guys. Like, so cute. And it has a zipper here. And that's the inside. And then it has this little slot right here. And you probably could fit more than one book. Let's see how many books I can put in here. 
That's one. That's two. I wouldn't put another one there because it'd be too heavy. But yeah, so two paperback books fit in there. And then like you can slide maybe a notepad, a pen or something right there if you're a note taker while you read books. And I got it specifically for my paperbacks because those are the ones that can get ruined. But I see, I'm pretty sure this hardback can fit in there too. Yeah. So I thought that was super cute. I like to carry my book to work with me because I read on my lunch break at work. So now I could just put my current read in my book booth. That way my pages won't get all bent up and my spine won't get all jacked up and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to come and show you guys this book goodie haul. I was so excited about it, especially because I officially have a book stack. <laughs> And I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more book hauls from me, comment below and let me know. Let me know what books you plan on reading for the month of March. I know February is just about over. It's probably going to be, it may be over by the time you guys see this video. So let me know what's on your reading list. For March, I already told you guys, I'm going to be reading The Housemaid. Um, this is going to be a group read, and I don't know what I'm going to be reading independently. We shall see. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.